What's up YouTube, this is Joe from Zephyr War Games and I'm bringing to you guys more Yu-Gi-Oh! news. I swear every time I do a Yu-Gi-Oh! news video, more news just comes around the corner moments later. But as you can see, we have not one, but both God Deck Complete reveals and I love what they have put in these decks. Some really nice reprints and some really good imports for the God Support Deck playstyle. So, before I get into this, if you enjoy this, please like and subscribe down below. Ding that notification bell, because obviously if you enjoy person's content here on YouTube, you don't want to miss out on that content, and that notification bell helps prevent that. And all of us great, appreciate, and we thank you guys so much for doing so. So, with all that said and done, let's crack on into these God Deck reveals. So I'm going to do it deck by deck. So I'm going to do Slifer's deck first, and I'm going to talk about the two new cards that are in it, that we didn't already know. And then I'm going to talk about Obelisk. And then here's three new cards that we didn't already know. So, starting off with Slifer's deck, we have, obviously, Slifer's Sky Dragon. Soul Crossing, which is the spell that lets you tribute your opponent's field for your god card summons. Thunder Force Attack, which is Slifer's board white plus draw support spell. And then we have the Ultimate Divine Feast, which I believe is the trap card which grants protection to your gods, or something of along that nature. Then we have another new card, which is Millennium Seeker. And Tellius the Little Angel, I'll get to those later on. Then we have Break of the Magical Warrior, Beast King Barbaros, Nine Tailed Fox, Phantom Sky Blaster, Card Guard, Fliegel Claw Crow, An Electromagnetic Turtle, Breaker the Dark Magical Warrior, Escape Ghost, Arum the Rick of Warden, which is another nice little reprint for him, Duke Shade the Sinister Shadow Lord, Clock Wyvern, Tenu Spirit the Shooter, Reactor Slime, then we have Swords of Being Light. Harpy's Feather Duster, I love this now as a common reprint in the Structure Decks, which is fantastic. Another incentive to get these decks. Nice little staple in your collection. Monster Reborn, Book of Moon, Enemy Controller, Pot of Avarice, I can never say no to more Pot of Avarice. March of the Monarchs, Supply Scrod, Card Advance, True Name, gonna be weird as a common. One Time Pass Code, Layer of Darkness, it's very interesting. Draw of Fate, Mirror, uh, Mirror Force, Relentless Greed, Metal Reflect Slime, Golden Apples, and back to the front. So that's the complete list for the Slifer Sky Dragon deck. Going into the new support, we have Millennium Seeker, which is a spellcaster dark level 4 monster. When you take a thousand or more damage or effect damage, you can special on this card from your hand. You can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, except a monster with a question mark attack. Your opponent can choose one monster from their deck, except a monster with question mark attack, if they choose not to, or if the targeted monster attack is higher than the attack of the chosen monster, special summon the targeted monster to your field, and if you do, shuffle the chosen monster back into the deck. Otherwise, your opponent adds the chosen monster to their hand. You can use each effect of the learning secret once per turn. So it's very weirdly worded, I believe. So you choose a monster in the graveyard, um, you target a monster in the but they either take a monster from their deck um, uh, to give uh, that has a higher attack to give to you, and then they get the monster back to their field, or they don't give you a monster, and then they just get the monster to their hand, which is very weird. So it's a very weird support card. Like I wouldn't play it personally in my god decks, but like. Hey ho, we're getting it at least. This card, I'm definitely going to be considering playing like these little angel guys. So we have Tellius the Little Angel, which is a fairy level 3 like, light monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard, is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can some one Tellius wing token, light fairy. While you control a Tellius wing token, you can banish this card from your graveyard. And one spell card from your hand, special summon two Tellius wing tokens. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except from your hand. You can use each effect of Tellius Little Angel once per turn. So literally, link this off, you get a token. And while you control a token, banish it and a spell, get two more tokens. Like, it's literally, you get not only a link monster like an Al Mirage, but you also get free, like, token tribute fodder for your god, which is fantastic for the god deck. Like, literally, this card alone is 
like brilliant. Next we have the Obelisk deck. So we have Obelisk the Tormentor, again crossing Soul Crossing, Fist of Fate, his negation card, and Divine Protection, along with Level Resist Wall and Angel Zero One. These are the three brand new cards. Then we have Nimble Monger, Bazooza Soul Eater, Cyber Dragon, Hardened Armed Dragon, Super Nimble Mega Hamster, it's a nice little reprint for him, Evil Swarm Mandragora, Photon Saber Tiger, I haven't seen this card since Photon Drain, <laughs> Evil Swarm Salamandra, Vars Disciple, I'm surprised they didn't put Vars Disciple in the Cypress one as well, uh, Unmasked Dragon, Mare Mare, Nimble Beaver, Condemned Witch, Gizmek Uka, the Festive Fox of the Trinity, and Gizmik Maka, the um, Furious Fang Fortress. This is, these two are great, especially this one for the um, uh, Sun Avalon deck. It's great. Another Harpy's Feather Duster reprint. Both decks get Duster. Brain Control, Monster Reborn, Different Dimension Capsule, Pot of Avarice, Double Summon, Forbidden Chalice, Lance, and Dress. It's great. Supply Squad, Monarch Storm 4. Both decks get Monarch Storm 4. It's great. Call of Haunted, Cloning. I haven't seen this card for years since I played it. And Drowning Mirror Force. So we have Divine Protection. I'm surprised this didn't go into the Cypher's one as well. This card's activation effect cannot be negated. Choose one monster you control whose original type is Divine Beast or whose original name is the Wicked Avatar, Dreadroot, or Eraser. Except the Monster of Monsters already affected by Divine Punishment, and it gains a thousand attack and defense. Its effect activations and its activated effects cannot be negated. Also, it gains the following effect. When this card declares an attack, it can, you can make your opponent send one monster they control to the graveyard, their choice. So it's a nice little addition that you can give to your god, just to make it a bit more menacing. I don't believe... Yeah, it's a permanent... An upgrade which is very very nice so I quite like this might be a good one of tech um, then we have level resist wall if a monster or monsters you control is destroyed by battle or by opponent's card effect target one of those monsters special summon monsters from your deck in defense position so their combined levels equal the level of that monster but to negate the effects you can activate one level resist wall per turn so it's a nice little way to recover your board if your god does get wiped you can then get monsters from your deck whose levels match 10. So that could be pretty good. Then we have Angel Zero One. You can special summon this card from your hand by being one level seven or higher monster from your hand. <coughs> oh god. You can only special summon Angel Zero One once per turn this way. While you control this special summon card, you can tribute some one level seven or higher monster in the attack position during your main phase, in addition to your normal summon set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. So that's it for the God Deck reveals. What do I think? I think they're great. Are they meta relevant? Probably not. Do they give good imports to support these decks? Yes, 100%. The little angel cards are perfect. I kind of wish that both decks got them, but at least if you buy three of each, you get three of each. And then the other cards are just nice, like the Divine Protection. I should probably expect this to be in here, but I'm glad that it is. And then overall, I think the reprints for what the God decks are, are great. Again, I love how both decks get access to Harpies Forever Duster. So if you are building up your staple collection, having multiple reprints of Duster is fantastic. Um, saves you having to swap them in between decks. More Pot of Avarice, I feel like, as a budget player, and car like old good cards like that are just great to have more in supply. And then the other random, seemingly random reprints, but also just really good, are just, very, again, really good. So, like, the Lair Darkness support for the Slifer deck is fantastic. Um, we also have the Gizmex are great as well. So, overall, I think they've done these decks great. I think they've done them really well, and I can't wait to not only obtain these decks, but then upgrade my god deck as well and just make it the ultimate god deck. So, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, as always, happy dueling.